All right, guys. We're out here this morning at the Trestles, Highway 11 Trestles in Slidell, Louisiana. Catching footballs, baby. Beautiful trout right there on that Southern Salt Hoodwink. The action is non-stop. There hasn't been a cast that we've sent out that hadn't gotten hit and almost none that we hadn't gotten fish on. Y'all stick around. This is going to be a great episode. I'm going to throw this chunky, beautiful trout in the cooler, and we're going to see if we can't hang a limit right here. Go exploring a little later. Try to catch some redfish. Y'all stick around. It's a little bitty baby, though. We don't want none of them. That's what they kept, they kept bumping it, bumping it, bumping it. And I finally said, let me set it. Ed with the first fish. Got the skank off the boat. Got the skank off the boat. Ain't no skanks on this boat. Look, Ed caught a trestle trout. Cut. <laughs> on camera. Now we got video evidence Ed can catch trout at the trestles now. <laughs> Ain't no secret now. And Ed caught the bridge. Yeah. Poor Ed. Oh, there's gonna be a snag, Ed's gonna find it. Yep. Oh, wow. That's a fish, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ed might have him a tank. Ed, we're going to need the net. Going to need the net? Uh, yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you flip him, but we'll net him. Oh, that's a tank. That's a beautiful trout, Ed. Look at that. Ed caught his first I nice trout. And look, and look, the hook just fell out. I was hung. He must have hit it and gone around the piling. Yeah, because I grabbed the line and there you go, Ed. on it, and then he took off. Check your leader before you cast it back out there, Ed. Ed caught him a nice one, boys. You want to measure him, Ed? Oh, yeah. I want to see. Show him the camera right quick. Camera's on. Solid. That's a, that's a tank. All right, let's get him measured right quick. I'm going to get the stick out for you. Whoops. Sorry, folks. 18 and a half. Just a freaking tank, man. There you go. Take a picture. I got gotcha. you. Steadily hit. I ain't even real. I'm getting hit on the way down too, Ed. There he is. Oh, oh, he's still on there. He came at the boat. Dang gum it. Spit it on. He did. I'm on. I had him You're for reeling and I'm on. Yeah, they're coming towards the boat with it. Another dink. Yeah, that's why I didn't think I was on. But my, my line stayed taut, you know? Yep. What a beautiful day. Ooh, that was a big hit. That was another little hit. Yeah, I got it just far enough off where I ain't got to worry about losing all my tackle. There he is. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, Ed. That's a nice one. I don't know if he's net worthy, but he's a nice one. We'll find out. Oh, no, he's not that big, but he was just fighting hard. That's a, that's a keeper. He almost went back out the boat. He almost went back out the boat. All right. That one was fighting way harder than he, he was punching above his weight class for sure. I'm going to put the stick on it just to make sure. Ed, he is not quite. He's dead on 13. I'm going to tag him right quick. Ed's got him another one. Stab this tag in him right quick. All right. First trout of the morning, tagged on that uh, Tag Louisiana kit. Y'all are interested in helping out some uh, fish conservation. I'll leave a link in the description. Y'all can pick up those tags, they're completely free. And uh, it helps out with studying these fish populations. We'll get this one back. See you, buddy. I mean, it's it's constant. You're getting smoked the whole time. I think it's just a whole bunch of little ones with some big ones mixed in. There he is. That's a better one. Oh, okay. This one, this one taking drag. Oh, that's a nice one. Up at the surface, shaking her head. This one might be a netter, Ed. I can't even get her up. That's another nice, oh, that's a little, that's a nice one, but that's another 18 incher. Go, Ed, time. go, go, go. Just set it down, just set it down. I got it. Oh, wow. That's another 18, 19 incher, boys. Look at the freaking football trout they're catching out here, though. Good God. Got a mark on her yet? Get that. Caught that, this one's going in the cooler. I know, but you got to hike them. Oh, no, I haven't yet. 
That one's caught on that uh, Southern Salt Hoodwink. That is the, the um, ultra violent color. And look, Ed's right there, hooked up already. He tore that one up. I might have to get another one in a minute, but we're gonna put him on the stick. That's an 18 inch trout and just thick, boy, thick. There we go. That's the trestles trout we come out here for, Ed. Ed's on. That's a little bit better trout to look like. Maybe not. They just fighting hard, man. See, you're, you're jigging and I'm just slow rolling. There he is. He was on it. I went to jig it and there was weight there. It's another decent one it feels like. Not as big as the last one. That's a flounder. It's a flounder. Oh, and there went my there went my hoodwink. Just shot off that way. <laughs> I see it floating in the water. All right, guys. This would probably be a keeper flounder. Well, definitely a keeper flounder, but he's pretty skinny, so we're gonna let him go. Nice to see we're catching a variety, though. He was hooked good. There we go. Beautiful little southern flounder on my southern salt hoodwink that just went flying off that side of the boat. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one back, get another one. See you, buddy. All right. I can't believe That's the color I'm using right here. It's that ultra violence, mostly clear with some uh, silver and purple flakes in it. It's got a little purple sheen to it. Nice bait fish pattern. And of course I got my 3 8 ounce death grip jig head. Thread it on there like that. That's all you need to catch monsters out here. Let's see if we can't catch a wall hanger, Ed. So no matter how you do it, Ed's, Ed's straight retrieving and I'm jigging and they're both working, but you gotta have contact with the bottom. That's the key when you're fishing these bridges. You gotta give it plenty of time to sink down. That's why I moved. I had two in a row without a hit. There's a hit, there's one. There's one. This might be another flounder. Oh, no, just a little trout, I think. Yeah, he's staying down. Yeah. Oh, there he went. That's all right. That wasn't a keeper. There he is. Right underneath the boat, practically. This ain't a big one. Oh, my God. That's the smallest one of the day. Little bitty fella. It's a male. I hear him grunting. That's the first male we caught today. Damn, bitch, you got your hook lower than your sink. Almost, yeah. I didn't tie that one all that great, but that's all right. <laughs> I think I am going to tag this little fella. Nine and a half. Oh, he didn't like that measuring stick. That's all right. You're not going in the cooler, dude. See you, buddy. All right. Another one for Tag Louisiana. Let's see if this drop shot hoodwink will snag a few trout. There's a couple hits. There he is. Oh, on the drop shot almost immediately. Nice trout coming up to the surface. Decent trout feels like. Yep, that's another keeper. On the drop shot hoodwink, baby. The hoodwink catches them, boy. It don't matter how you rig it. Now that ain't the hammer that we caught earlier. That's still definitely nice eating size. Look at that. On that white chartreuse hoodwink. Right in the top of his mouth. Right where we like to see it. We'll get this one unhooked, dropped in the cooler. We're gonna get some more. About a 15 inch trout or so, huh? And get this one in the cooler. I'm gonna show you how I got this drop shot set up. Might have to untangle it too. That's the only bad part about the drop shot. There you go. Another nice trestles trout there. That's 15 on the nose. Called it. All right. So got me a half ounce bank sinker about a foot or so off the bottom. Got me a dropper loop and my tail just came off. He ripped the tail off. And I got that Southern salt hoodwink right on top there. He's on it. Oh no, it's ripped around my rod tip. There we go, came off. Little guy. Oh yeah, little bitty fella, he ain't keeping. Good thing, huh? Yeah. It wrapped around my rod tip, Ed. I set the hook and somehow it got around my rod tip. He came, he came towards me, put slack in the line. All right, another little dink. Well, there he goes. He didn't want to get tagged. I don't blame him. 
Ed's all tickled to death that I got the knot instead of him. Mic check. You better not screw up this time, GoPro. You're in the trash if you do. Move up a little bit. Nice. Oh, is that a net? That's a netter. Take it easy. Don't rip the lips off. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Fresh, too. You caught him right at the boat. Oh, I mean, right here. I was just fixing to pick it up. He's up, up underneath. He's underneath. Get that rod in the water. Oh, there you go. He's coming out. He's coming out. Bring it to me. Beautiful. There you go. And he's got the camera on, so you can show him to the camera, too. Ed just hooked a hammer. Oh, my God. That's a fat trout, Ed. Let's see. Dude, that's a, that, that's bigger than your last one. Yes, where's the... Right there. That's a 19, 20 incher, I think. I don't know. He looks bigger than the last one. 19. 19 inches, guys. I can take the snapshot if you want, or I can take a picture here. Don't matter to me. Freaking footballs, man. Love it. Hold the water? No, no, no. That's, that's mine. There ain't nothing on it. It's the one I broke off. I'll retighten a bit. Oh, dude, I got hit right here underneath the boat. We might be on top of them, Ed. I'm going to cast parallel. Oh, my God! <laughs> right underneath the boat. We might be on top of them, Ed. I think we might need to throw parallel. If we throw parallel start hooking up, we're going to have to back off. Yeah. All right. Oh, I hope it, he's a keeper because I just took his eyeball out. No little keeper. Looks like we're going to measure him to make sure. Put your tail down, buddy. <laughs> He knows what happens if he puts his tail down. He is. He is. No, he ain't. Damn. Oh, that sucks, man. I, I took his eyeball out. I wish he was a keeper, but he's about an eighth inch short. See you, buddy. Sorry about that. Keep your, uh, keep your left side to the bank. <laughs> keep the good eye out. You still doing a straight retrieve, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still jigging. It don't seem to matter much right now. They're hitting whatever. Spot like right here for a minute. Fish this fire break, I suppose. That was a hit. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish, I feel like, Ed. Oh, it's a flounder. I might actually keep this one. He ain't much bigger than the last one, but <laughs> the way the rest of this morning went. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Look at this, Ed. Look, look what he's been eating. Yep, all the menace. Mouthful of storm menace. Let's see. What the hell? Oh, battery's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Check that out, guys. You think that flounder was hungry? Y'all think that flounder was hungry? Look at that. He's got a mouthful of storm minnows and went after my shrimp. He was hooked good, too. There we go. Question is, do I want to keep him or not? He is pretty thick, Ed, for his size. Let's see. He's probably about 12. 12, but shoot, he's almost 13. I think I am gonna keep him. I ain't had flounder in a while. I'm going in the box. Uh, yo, unlucky day, partner. And I got some sides with the storm minnows. You fry them up like little, like little fish crispers. <laughs> what you think, Ed? Live, live marsh cricket on a drop shot. Those of you that don't know what a marsh cricket is, that's a shrimp. Ed, I believe that flounder deserves a snack. He had a snack in his mouth. Grab that, grab that beef jerky when you come back up here. All right, guys. Y'all are looking for a handy, filling, and delicious snack to bring on a boat. Bourgeois Meat Market right there in Thibodeau makes some of the best beef jerky I've ever had in my life. You got to check it out. I never leave the launch without it. I am starving. It's been a long day. Caught a few nice fish. It's been a little slow. Call another keeper. Got to get a snack. God, I can smell it already, Ed. That's smoke. It's smoked beef jerky, guys. It is delicious. Y'all want some? Use code SALTY10. Freaking kidding me. 
you scoat salty tin so you got something to snack on while your buddy's uh breaking Snack. off breaking off his second consecutive cast you know why that happened because he just said he ain't lost anything today on the way over here <laughs> hmm there's no markers on those pilots there need to be an x on both of those hmm this will make it feel better that is way better than store-bought promise you stuff is delicious there's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit. There he is, there he is. That's a nicer fish. Stay out, troll motor. Another flounder, yep. About the same size, look. Yep. Sitting on the bottom. Sitting on the bottom. That's not a southern flounder. Oh yeah, he is, he's just a little lighter. This is where we was catching them all. Well, Another little southern flounder. This one is about the same size as the last one. He doesn't look as thick. We're going to measure him. If he's about 13, I'll probably keep him. Uh, he's under 12. We're going to put this little guy back. All right, buddy. Yo, lucky day. Let's see if he got a mouthful of, uh, I think he's got a mouthful of uh, storm in his head. He'll open his mouth. Nope, he doesn't. See you, buddy. There he is. Yeah, this thing was just sitting on the bottom for a while. There we go. I went, cast my live bait rig out. This might be a flounder. I don't know. Now you just sitting, yeah, it is a flounder. Another flounder, yep. Smaller one, uh, about 13 or so. There we go. I mean, just sitting on the bottom and I jigged it like twice and he smoked it. That's on that Southern Salt hood went, boy. There we go. Let's get a measure on them right quick. It's a little thicker than the last one. I might wind up keeping this one too. There we go. Yeah, you're right. I got glass minnows all over the cooler. I knew you would. <laughs> there he is. Oh, the blue. That's a nice fish, Ed. That's a flounder. It's a nice one. Ed, grab the net for me, please. I saw him from a ways off. He looked decent. Another flounder? Yeah, I saw him. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a dormant. No, is that a trout? That is a trout. I thought it was a flounder the whole time. Oh, no, yes! Ooh. I caught this fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all didn't see it because I didn't have my camera. My other camera died, but the hook came out of it. That's a that condom. Hook stuck me in the shoulder when it's fit and I scoosh. Stay protected, folks. Look at the size of that, Ed. I gotta get a, I gotta get a picture with that one. Holy Good crap, Lord, what smoked, a tank. Your hook smoked the Ed shit Ed almost got hooked. That, that fish <laughs> threw the hook right there and Ed dipped him up with the net that quick. Good God, look at the size of this fish. Ed, I gotta get a picture with this one. That's a chunky. Dang, gum it. <laughs> Caught a big trout and a rubber, same spot. Golly. <laughs> there we go, guys. Look at the size of that trout. That came on that Southern Salt hoodwink right there, guys. I'm telling y'all it works. Salty 10 is the promo code. Get you a 10% discount. Look at the chunkiness of that trout, guys. Killer. These trestles trout are something else, man. Get a measure on it right quick. 19 inches. God, that thing feels so much bigger than 19 inches. Woo! And to top it all off, got some protection. A little big for me. I might trust that on a blow up doll. I might check. Something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's just leaving magnums out on their boat? All right, guys, that's it for me and Eddie. We are tired. We are hungry. About to break out that beef jerky again. Head to, the <laughs> Head to the launch and clean out those nice trout. Catching them on the hoodwinks most of the day there, guys. Y'all make sure you go check out Nathan over at Southern Salt and his webpage. He's got some really good content, obviously some great lures. And don't forget, Salty Tin will get you 10% off. We're going to pack it up, head out. I'll see y'all next time right here on Salty Bottom Outdoors.